Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and we have just finished feeding day so everybody's having a good munch at the moment. But what we're doing today is we're doing like, we had a new tank coming the other day so we're going to be having a look at it, sprucing it all up, uh, making it look nice, decorating it all out as well and I'm going to give you some, I'm going to tell you some more things that's happening in the shop as well. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me and let's crack on with tank building day. Are you ready? Bam, 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 bam. So there it is, absolutely lovely tank. Very nice wood. You just need to give it a clean, put it all together. And then we're gonna be mocking it up today, putting gravel in there, making it look really cool. What I'm thinking of doing is probably using one of these. Uh, I have had another one come in, so we could always use, where is it? There it is. <whistles> lovely job. So we've got all the stuff like that we can put in there, make it look really cool. So it's a plan for us to do today. So our first thing is we're going to have to get all the gubbins out of it, give it a wipe over, and away we go. So these are our lid pieces, same as what we've got on the big, big tank over there. Uh, and then we've got our light bars. So we're going to have to test these, see if they're any good. Make sure the lights are working. Oh, so we're just going to put this down here for now. That's going to stay safe there. And we're going to do some cleaning now. So we do cleaning montage, because you don't want to watch me clean. So we do cleaning montage, nothing sharp or anything like that. We'll uh, we wipe over, get all the sand and the grit out first. Then we clean the glass, because we don't want any grit or anything going on and scratching the glass. But there we go, it's a lot cleaner now. So I've got all the algae off the front. There's a tiny bit more on the back, so I can always give that another wipe over if we need. But I think we're doing really well. Everything looks okay at the moment. There's tiny little marks on the glass, but you know, second hand tank, you gotta expect some little marks on it. Um, but yeah, so next job is I'm gonna clear all this away, and then we're gonna look and see what substrate we can put in there. But they did bring me some, some gravel with it, uh, so we'll have a little look at that and then we'll pick and choose what we're going to use. Also, got this bag of gubbins to go through as well, so that's going to be all stuff that's going to be with that tank. So that'll be a plan as well for us to do towards the end. So that's what they've brought us. Black sand, black gravel mixed in with all these pretty colours. Not something I would you normally use. Um, I'm an advocate for trying to make it look natural. So we could use this if we needed to. Um, for me to get any other gravel means we've got to empty some more of those tanks because I'm uh, completely out of stock of gravel. And we used our last bit of sand on that uh, other job we did the other day. So I think we'll put this in for now. Uh, it's only for show anyway and then we can start making it look cool. Well, that's one way of transporting the fishes. Pushing them home in the push chair. Oh, ha oh, oh, saves you lifting them, I suppose. There we go, we're all substrated up. It doesn't look too bad. I have piled up this side though, because that's where, uh, see these here? These are bongs for the pipe where it could go underneath. So this could be marine if you wanted to, and it could be sumped, which is quite easy. If you come under here, you can see right up there, that's where the pipes come down. So if you wanted to, you could have it all under gravel filter. It's a fluval tank. We're looking at about 200 to 250 litres. I haven't double checked it and done the maths on it yet. Um, really, really up at tank handstand. So now what I'm going to do is 
uh, put some decor in there. Uh, then once we've done that, we can test the lights, put all the cabinet back on, and away we go. So we had this brought into us with the tank, so we're gonna use this in the display as well. It's the one of the new ones we had in the other week, but this is one of the older. This has been a this is the second hand one, that's the word. That's the word we was looking for, second hand one. So that looks better that way, I think. I'm not sure. Put it in this way. There we go, so we've got that there like that, looking snazzy. And then we can place this one in as well. Oh, actually, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. So, I put this down now. Because it's bushier here than it is there. If we put this here, it's going to look better because this one can fill up this side. Okay. And we can put this one here like that. And then, I think that looks pretty good. So what we think we might do here is maybe like a rocky outcropping or uh, maybe put some rocks around the back or something like that, see how we get off. So what I'm using is this lovely sparkly rock. Really, really nice. So what I've done, I'm trying to do like a random rocky outcropping coming out of the, uh, of the middle. So it looks like it's all big one rocky like the sim somehow attached sort of thing. I think it'd be better if I put this over here. This here like that. And then this one can go here. So I want a little bit of that because a lot, a lot of the time, these shard pieces, you will get them coming off on an angle like that. That's what I'm trying to recreate here sort of thing. But it's not quite working to how I wanted it to do. No, nope. oh, tap in the glass, we don't want to tap the glass. Okay, put that one down there. Hmm, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. We might have to, might have to raise it up, we have to put that one down so we can raise it up a bit so we've got a rocky outcrop one in the middle. We can always change the angle of this as well to go a bit more like that. So it gives us more of an area and then we can build this rocky up and up as the, as the main feature of the tank. Okay. So, let's move these back out a sec. We can lay this one down. And then, we can come off from that one. And then we're gonna have to disguise it with pieces like this. Sinking a bit, there we go. And then we can have stuff like this coming off like that. I'm gonna stay. Oh, just about, just about. We'll move you a bit further back so you can have a better look. Um, might need more. We might need more Roccos. So this big one can go this end. Like that. And then we're going to have little pieces as well for scale. So not all the rocks are going to be huge. Some are going to be smaller than others. Um, and there's nothing stopping us using some of this. And, uh, and giving it a bit more, hiding some of the cracks and joins as well. Um, I'm struggling a little bit, struggling a little bit, I need more rocks. So rocky outcroppings can be one of the hardest things to do because you're trying to make something which is natural and um, it's hard to recreate natural because it's very easy to tell when something's been made. So I tried my best, I think we did well. Oh, it would be glare right on exactly where I wanted to show you. So there it is, look at that. I think that's come out well. Looks natural, everything's coming out all higgledy piggledy. I've hid the bottom rock with some of the gravel. Uh, and I've come first, we've got some little rocks as well because you're gonna have little rocks as well protruding out. Everybody's off at its own special angle. I think that looks really cool. So I'm really happy with that now. So if I can get a better shot, if I can, can I block it this soon? That's better, look at that. So just 
two fake plants and some rocks and I think that looks really really good completely filled the whole area so I'm really really happy with that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wait for it to get a little bit darker and the glare goes away and I'll get you some better shots of it but let's get the roof put on test the lights and away we go okay so we're gonna put the middle bit on first which is our light bar quite easy just drops in okay to our cables there's little divots here and same on the other side that's for your cables to go through uh, and then we have two panels for on top both exactly the same by the looks of it so it doesn't matter where they go do the front piece first because it's here straighten it up square it up That's on and in. Last one. Slot it into place. Drop it down. Remove all bushes. And there we go. The tank's all put together. Let's check the lights. I turn them on. What do you think? Do you think they're working? I can see a little bit of a glow. Well, hey! There we go, we're all lit up and ready to go. There we go, look at that. Absolutely stunning. I think that looks really, really good. I think some customer will come and snap that up, no problem at all. And it's a good advertising piece as well, because it's right by the door. So I don't think it'll hang around very long. I think that's the mistake I made with the bow front. I didn't mock it up like this, because this looks 10 times better. 10 times better than having just an empty tank, 100%. We'll get some more close-ups for you afterwards. So this is the box of gubbins. So we've got the filter. Okay, that's that's going to be needed. Um, we've got a heater, which I probably wouldn't use because I don't like using second-hand heaters. Uh, we've got some lights, which aren't to do with that tank, I don't think. Um, we have a net and some scrapers. Um, what else is all this? Ah, okay. This is for if you take those bungs out and use it as a, uh, a proper, yes, a proper tank with uh, a sump, that is. Um, yeah, this, this is the cleaner and the attachments are there. Um, test kits, I'm guessing, uh, siphon, that's a good guy, okay, these are the plugs for the lights, I'm guessing, oh, what's this, we got a crocodile, oh, he lost all his colours though, he's albino, albino crocodile, a bit crooked jawed, we can put him in, you can put him in, something a bit different. You can live at the front. Whoop. There we go, Mr. Crocodile. Happy as Larry. And we've got other attachments, spare pipe. I don't know what's in here. Um, okay. More pipe, another siphon. Yeah, oh, let's see what we've got in this bag. Bag of gubbins. Oh, it looks like more um, stuff, more ornaments. Ornaments is the word. Come on, let me in. Let me in. Oh, it's double bagged. Double bagged. Must be super special. Okay, let me in. Let me in. Come on. It would have been easier if I'd have just got a pair of scissors, but we will never give up. We will never surrender. Oh, it's a headbutt one. That's really cool. We like that. We'll give it all a wash and stuff. We can put it on display. We've got... Oh, I need to open this bag a tiny bit more. Looks like a plane of some sort. Oh, it's a helicopter. Helicopter. Um, 
pirate cave or drunk pirates and we got another pirate cave oh this makes sense we've got the pirates cave there we go no point having two signs without having a cave is there so i'll sort through all that see what's salvageable see what's not and then as soon as it gets a little bit darker and uh, i can take some better photos of the tank i will do uh for sweets yeah i think that's all we're waiting to do now is waiting for it to get dark i've got something else to tell you as well i almost forgot so we're gonna start selling the merch in the shop got ourselves a clothes rack ready so i'm gonna be doing an order probably tomorrow for a range of the tops uh a range of the hoodies and stuff like that and i shall be selling them in store so if you want to come and buy them straight from me, instead of having to wait and order them and stuff like that, you can do. So I'll have, I'm still going to have loads because I don't want to spend too much money. Um, but if it goes well and I, I sell loads, I'll have more and more there each time. And yeah, we'll have a, the full range of Snake On Exotic merch. Oh yeah. Well, I think that's the best we're going to get. Still got some glare on it, but really, really like how it's turned out. Rocky outcropping has looked really good. So I'm really happy about that. So there you go. So please like, subscribe, comment and share. Ring that bell for me if you haven't already. Really helps me with the YouTube algorithms and all that jazz. Um, so if you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it lives up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, she's over there as well. So if you want to support me, there's links in the description below. You can join the tribe. You can buy some merch. There's loads of stuff you can do to help. Even just clicking that like button. Everything helps. Um, so I'll see you in the future. Bye.